Good morning. Here we are, we're back at Christman Garage. And uh, you remember the old saying, if it's giving trouble, it's going to the bad. Well, I got a leg that's going giving trouble, but I don't think we're going to throw it away just yet. But uh, what I've got to do today is, uh, um, you know, my son and the grandson, and I guess you could say me too, kind of like the mess of race cars. Well, race car. And uh, little boys came down here from New York the other day. I think the one whose name was Castle. The other one name was Cruz. And uh, Castle, he kind of liked the old race car. He got in it. And, and Mr. Chet, he fired it up, and that little boy's eyes got big as Buick hubcaps, and he revved it up two or three times, and we thought, well, oh, that's pretty good, you know, that old girl sounds pretty good, well, they dug around mothballs and took her to the racetrack, and the old small block Chevy just wasn't happy. She just didn't want to do her stuff. Well, they brought her home and did a bunch of studying and figuring out and they come to the conclusion that the valve springs were weak and that's such that's because you let them set all winter and, and things just kind of squished together I guess I don't know but anyhow we did a research on a, how to check the valve spring pressure and uh, well, we can do that if we had to gauge and uh, but you know, them little rascals are pretty expensive. I mean, you can go up over a thousand dollars for one. So, I, man, I, I just didn't want to dish out all that big bucks. And I said, well, the Christmas boys, they didn't make stuff. So, uh, I went into the thing and found this uh, a gauge online. And uh, this is a gauge right here. The check spring pressure, and uh, by uh, you put this thing in, you put your spring right here, and you mash it all together, and whatever that gauge reads, well, that's your spring pressure. And you just can't build a cardboard box and put this thing in it because springs range anywhere from 110, some of them up above 400 pounds pressure. You start testing one up there like that, and if something slips, it could probably put a dent in your forehead. They don't feel good. So I found some half-inch aluminum, and uh, I uh, kind of made this box out of it. And you see, it's pretty stout. And this gauge will go down in here like this, and then you will put our spring in here, and then we have to have something back here to compress the spring and hold it so we can get some measurements. You can put threads in here and you can do all that stuff, but regular threads are not made to do a lot of in, out, in, out, in, out, like that, you know. So what them kind of threads are, they're called Acme threads. Acme threads are a square shoulder thread, and they're made to do a lot of in and out, in and out, in and out, so they don't wear. And uh, I had an old table saw that quit on me, and I throwed it out in the woods, and I said, I need a piece of Acme thread with the nut thing on. Now not every shop has access to a tap and die that does Acme threads. and uh, But it's a tough thread. It's a made to working thread. So I found this thing out there on the saw, cleaned it up. But what I have to do now is figure out some way to get this in here like this, fastened down, so we can put that spring in there and push on it. Uh, I'm going to go out here in my shop for a little bit and uh, see what I can dig up and uh, we'll go from there and uh, give me a few minutes to work on that and uh, I'll come back. There ain't no sense you watch me dig through a bunch of junk. So give me a minute. Okay everybody I'm back. I've been out there in the shop doing a whole bunch of uh, puttering and, and uh, messing stuff and uh, I think it's time to mock up our stuff here and see if I did what I want to do. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you all can get an idea of what we're building here. Hang on. 
Okay, what we have here, I made this box, and uh, that got kind of involved, well, that dump all stuff out. And uh, remember, I had all this done, and I had it pinned, but I got thinking, those pins have a lot of pressure this way, but these pins up here didn't have no pressure this way, and it could spread apart. Like I said, we're, we're messing with a lot of pressure. We didn't want to spread, so I did go and drill and tap these bolts. They're holding it all together. And the thing that I had on this rod, I put it around, I embedded it in the steel and made this square to fit in there. And, uh, but uh, if you can see, I don't know if you see down there, there's a dent down in there. Well, that's so this gauge right here can set in there like that and uh, sets in there and, and locates it good. But, uh, what we did, um, to push the spring, this here be down here like that, and uh, this here is going to be here like this. So we got a good flat place to push on the spring. That's going to be, the spring will be in there like that, and uh, I'm going to put this under here, maybe it'll angle it up a little bit so you can see it better. And uh, this here is going to be pushing this way, and to do that, I took an old bearing, and you ain't going to believe where I get these bearings. They come out of a weed eater shafts, old weed eater and stuff. Well, I machined that down and put that on there like that. But with a couple, several hundred pounds pressure, this shoulder right here, going into that bearing like that, that's the only thing that's keep holding that pressure because anything else stripped down over it. So I thought, well... These collars came with this thing, and by putting this on here, we'll lock that down with set screws, and then I can put that on there, and we'll put that. That gives me a lot more surface pressure on. And to uh, let this bearing spin, I uh, made a little bushing, and by doing this like this, and putting this bolt down in here, this is, I had to all drill and tap and turn all this stuff, you know. If, uh, if you don't have access to some of the tools, I imagine you can get along with, with uh, fewer tools. This, this is just the way I did it. I hope you can see what I'm doing there. You see that like that? And then this, this will be down there like that and pushing on like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to Stick it all together, and uh, this ain't finished yet because uh, I'm just mocking it up, make sure everything is going to go the way I really actually got it planned. Okay, see how that's all going together in there? After we're on. This is loose right now. We're not going to get carried away with that right now because i got to take it all apart and clean it up and get it going. Guess where this come from? Off that saw out there in the woods, but... I tried making something small here, but I don't think we're going to have enough pressure because it gets pretty tough. But by um, putting this up on here like this, see that roll pin right there? That fits this groove, gives it a good dry surface. Hey, it fits. Okay, I'm back. It's been a while. I have uh, did a lot of tinkering. I think we just about got ready to do our final assembly. We're going to put this in here because it's a... Remember I got to put this on here. Well first we got to screw it through here to get it in there. We'll put that in there. Now remember we got to put our collar on there. We'll tighten that all down later. Okay now put my collar on. Now I'm going to put my bearing in there. And then we're going to put this thing in there. That goes in there. Now we got to get our little bushing. That goes in there like that. And we got the screw for our flat washer. And why we did that was because the bushing keeps everything tight, but also lets the bearing spin.
Okay, we got that tight. See, even with that bolt down there tight, we still got movement here. What I'm going to do is bring this up. We're going here with this here and here. We'll tighten that collar down. Cause that door, that there's got to hold a lot of push. Okay, we got that. And uh, let's go ahead and put our handle on while we're right here. Now I'll leave that off, and then you see us put the rest of it together. Well, you know what? All we gotta do is lay this down in there and put that in. But um, let's do something. I'm gonna go ahead and run this up here a little ways to get it out of the way. Um, here's where I had to spend some money, but when you do something you want to look kind of nice, I went and bought stainless steel set screws. I got rid of them bolts. You see, they're gonna be pretty in there. The other one there. Now these here are to uh, the pins keep it off from going this way, but these bolts go keep the pressure from coming out this way. And uh, of course with the pins and everything, it's it's going it'll it'll hold the pressure. down on that thing, get it tight. <coughs> Put our gauge down in there. Put that in there. So, and we're going to push this up on there like that. And uh, we've got a flat washer. And a nice pretty acorn nut to put on there. We're going to crank that down. There we go. This thing, um, you can probably make it out of steel. I had the aluminum. I like working with aluminum. It's easy to work with for me. Uh, I can machine it. My machines machine it good, and it uh, it's lighter. I mean, if you made this thing out of steel that thick, it'd be terrible heavy. The only steel is this down here. This is steel down here because we had to get good steel for the threads and stuff. I didn't want to uh, aluminum would soon gall up, and mess up the threads. And uh, these here are shiny with a good sharp edge, so you can really measure, really get a good measurement on these right here, and. Uh, it's uh, you can make them. I mean, you get a professional one online. They're they're pushing a thousand dollars on ones I've seen, and uh, this will do the same thing. It's probably not as quick, but it does the job, and it's uh cheap. I put uh, I got about um, six dollars worth of stainless steel bolts in it. I didn't have to do them, uh, but they just look better. Put a little lipstick on it, but anyhow, I. I believe this will get that uh, little small block Chevy uh, smiling again, and we want to get right out there and scream. We don't want no smile. We want to scream. Well, I hope he can hold her when she's screaming. But uh, anyhow, uh, that's that, and we uh, appreciate you watching this, and uh, I hope you learned something. I learned right much about it. I mean, I've always did a lot of this putter, but. Uh, we appreciate y'all's support, and uh, we here at Christmas Garage just love the people out there, and just remember, uh, God loves you, and we love you too, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye for now. Mm -hmm.